Hello, it's Friday. It's Friday, August the 4th, and this is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotions. Today we continue in read in the book of 1 Timothy. Today we're in chapter 4, verses 1 through 8. Here's the word of the Lord. The Spirit clearly says that in latter, later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars, whose consciences have seared as with a hot iron. They forbid people to marry and order them to abstain from certain foods, which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and who know the truth. For everything God created is good. And nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. If you point these things out to the brothers and sisters, you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus, nourished on the truths of the faith and of the good teachings that you have followed. Have nothing to do with godless myth and all wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has a value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. And that is the word of the Lord. Debbie Salter Goodwin writes our article today, and it's titled, Faith Fed. Here's what Debbie has to say. In Paul's days, those who, pra- who preached messages that did not conform to the truth of God were often successful in proclaiming their messages in church. Paul warned Timothy about their lies and hypocrisy. Their messages did not increase unity or love, which are marks of the work of the Holy Spirit. Instead, Their messages created division among believers. These self-proclaimed evangelists collected followers around their ideas instead of making disciples of Christ. Paul counseled young Timothy to feed their face as he co-ministered with Paul and others. In other words, live with the heart of Christ and his redeeming mission. Live it loudly. Live it with integrity. Don't budge or water it down. Be faithful to the truth Christ died to share. All of it. The same is true for us today these many years after Paul's cautionary letter to Timothy. If we continue to grow in faith, fed by the word of God, not edited by the loudest voice of revelancy, we have the same potential to change the world with the message of Christ that Paul had. Our world needs more faith-fed believers. Will you be one? My Faith Has Found a Resting Place by Liddy H. Edmonds is the hymn today. My faith has found a resting place, not in device nor creed. And from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 21. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. This is your daily devotion for Friday, August the 4th. Have a blessed day.